Alright, hello, welcome to Gary's Mod. It has occurred to me how much I run around while I'm making my videos. But anyway, um, on to the next step, which is going to be, this isn't, I'm not actually going to, like, show you any devices or anything. Instead, I'm just going to show you, or talk to you about some stuff. So we're going to go up here, I think, because this will work well. <laughs> I'm going to get out this rope tool in case I need it, so I can, like, draw lines and stuff. Um, anyway. So. So, I'm just gonna make it rigid too. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna talk about vectors today, which means, no, I'm not gonna bother. Um, so vectors are essentially some number of values that represent something, which sounds really vague, but that is what they are in Gary's mod. I mean, obviously, like you know, they you if you remember from like your math class, or if you're currently in math class of course, then there's, you know, they have a direction and magnitude and, you know, all that fun stuff. But they're, they're not always used for that in Gary's Mod. Sometimes they're just used to represent a position, not, you know, velocity or whatever. Um, but they are used for that too. So if you don't know what a vector is, it is a... Well, generally three values because, you know, in Gary's Mod you live in three dimensions, not counting time, of course, because, you know, w what game models that? Um, but anyway, uh... So, for example, so you have the x, the y, this is going to be, wow, that's a horrible y. Alright, y, and the z, or z, I guess, if you're, like, a Canadian, but I'm not. So, I unfortunately do not get to say z, which is sad, because it is an awesome word to say. Anyway, um, wow, that was really not important at all. So, you have x, y, and z, this is, like, you know... So x is your x-coordinate, obviously, y, y-coordinate, z, z-coordinate. Um, and how, how, how this works for representing a position is pretty obvious, because, you know, you've got your x, y, z. And if I pull up, like, a GPS or something over here, GPS, and get up my debugger tool, of course, I click on here, and then you see in the, in the top uh, left, it says vector 1130, 1, 31.0, negative 553.0, and 64.3. That is the position of this thing. If I move it around, of course it changes. Um, but yeah. So that's how the positions are also stored. But you can also store velocity in this. So, for example, I mean, it's pretty simple to think about it. You have the x velocity, the y velocity, or the z velocity, or the, the amount of, you know, distance you're going per unit of time in the x direction in the x, and then the same for the y and the z. Um, and then when you combine these all together, you, like, you're like, oh, I'm going this way. So then you move this way, this way, and then this way a little, and now you've moved that way, roughly. I'm not, you know, obviously not that good at this. Um, but saying that that is the thing. So, yes, that is a thing. Um, the other thing that these have is a magnitude, and all that means is well, because you can think of vectors like a line, right? So, if I put a line here, so the magnitude is just saying, like, you know, how long is this line? Like, you know. There. That's, that's, that's probably better than the thing I drew originally, but you want to say, like, how long is this line? That didn't quite work out. That's supposed to be a question mark. Um, and the answer is, of course, if you remember the Pythagorean theorem, but in three dimensions. So you do x squared. Wow, that's horrible. All right, that's a two plus. You, I mean, you you really don't actually, I guess, have to know how to do this, but it is kind of useful. Um, Whatever, that's a 2. Um, and then, obviously, z. Um, bleh. Whoops. Alright, anyway, um, so then you have this... Oh, goodness. This sort of thing. Um, which will give you the magnitude of the vector, which... I'm just going to use V to represent my vector. So there you go. Wow. Writing things out in ropes, man. It's too hard. 
Anyway, um, so if you want to get the magnitude of it, you can do this. What the magnitude is good for is, for example, because if you have a vector, you get velocity, right? Because velocity is a vector value, it has direction and magnitude. But if you just want your speed, that's a scalar value, and you need to convert it somehow, and this is how you do it, because you find out exactly, for, you know, this is how far you go in whatever amount of time. And then, um, if you just want the direction and not the actual magnitude of it, so you just want these to be, you know, like, all values less than 1, because it's all relating to values of 1, what you can do is you can divide these by this value. I'm not going to go over any other math stuff, like cross products and stuff, because I don't, I mean, it's not really that necessary to know how to do, um, but I'll probably go talk about them, like, specific, more specifically in a later tutorial. But anyway, for right now, that's it. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.